this problem, we're going to prove that A is a subset of B if and only if A intersection B is equal to A. So to prove an if and only if statement in mathematics, one way to do it is you assume this is true, and then you show this is true, and then you assume this is true, and then you show this is true. That's how we'll do it. So let's go ahead and prove it. So prove. So first, we're going to assume this is true, and then show this is true. So we'll start by assuming that A is a subset of B. And the claim is that A intersection B is equal to A. So claim A intersection B is equal to A. And so we're going this way. So I'm going to use a little arrow like this to indicate which direction we're showing. Right? We're showing that um, if this is true, then this is true. So we assume this is true. That's our claim. Let's use the method of double inclusion. So to show these sets are equal, the method of double inclusion means that we'll show this is a subset of this and that this is a subset of this. So to show that this is a subset of this, we'll start by taking an element here. So take any x in A intersection B. I'm trying to write a little bit smaller since I haven't done this problem. I don't know how long it's going to take. Well, what does it mean for s to be in the intersection? That means that x is an A and x is a B. So it's in both of these sets. We just want it to be an A, so we want to emphasize that fact. So we can do that by saying, in particular, x is an A. So we started with A in the intersection, and we showed it was an A. This shows that the intersection is contained in A. So A intersection B is a subset of A, right? That's what it means for a set to be a subset of another set, right? So we took an element in the intersection, and we showed it's an A. Therefore, every element in the intersection is also an A, so the intersection is contained in A. Now let's go the other way. We have to show that every element in A is also in the intersection. So take any x in A. Ah, so now we have to show it's in the intersection. But A is contained in B. So since A is contained in B and x is in A, let me emphasize that. Let me say it again. It's a little bit ridiculous, but who cares? Let me just be silly. So uh, if x isn't, so since it's A is a subset of B and x is in A, Therefore, x is also in b, so x is in b. Thus, we have, so what do we have now? Well, we have x in a and x in b. So x in a and x in b. I hope you can see that. So what does it mean when it's in a and it's in b? It means it's in the intersection. Boom. So x is in a intersection b. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me go over that again. That was great. Um, so we took an x in a, right? And then since A is contained in B and X is in A, X is also in B, right? That means we have X in A and X in B. It's precisely what it means for X to be in the intersection, right? So we showed that every element in A is also in the intersection. Thus, A is contained in the intersection. So we have that um, the intersection is contained in A and A is contained in the intersection. Thus, by the method of double inclusion, so hence... Uh, a intersection B is equal to A. So that proves uh, the first direction, right? So if this is true, then this is also true. Um, I'm going to erase this, and let's let's prove the, the other direction. So I'm just going to grab my eraser and uh, erase and go the other way. What a beautiful proof. It just pains me to erase it. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. Just throw this eraser away. All right, so let's go the other way. So now we'll suppose this is true, and we'll try to show this is true. Now suppose A intersection B is equal to A. Gotta love proofs. We have to show A is a subset of B. That means we have to show that every element in A is also an element in B. So we'll start by taking some element in A. So take any X and A. You know, I always say take any X and A. A more formal way to say it would be suppose X and A is arbitrary. You would go through the entire proof. At the end, you would say, since x was arbitrary, this holds for all x and a, therefore, you know, the inclusion is done. I just do this to save time in the videos. So, so, so take any x and a, and um, we have to show it's also uh, in b. So we have this condition. So thus, since, since a intersection b is equal to a, which contains x, look at that backwards contain symbol, we have x in the intersection. Okay, and so what does that mean? So that means x is an A and x is a B. 
In particular, it's in B. Why? Because that's where we want it to be, right? We want to show A as a subset of B. So in particular, in particular, X is in B. So we assume this. We have to show this is true. We take an element X in A. Since A intersection B is equal to A, X is also in the intersection. That means it's in both. In particular, it's in B. So we started with an X in A. Then we showed it's in B. So A is a subset of B. And that completes the proof. We've shown both directions. That's it. Hope this video made sense. Take care.